So, 95 was one of the defining films of the 1980s. Tells the story, of course, of three female office workers who take their sexist boss hostage. The musical was made famous by Dolly Parton, of course. Now it's on the road on a UK tour with Louise Redknapp in the starring role as Violet Newstead. Take a look at her in action. I'll take this job and love it. I'm a woman and proud of it. This old gal is one Louise is with us now. Morning. Do, it, do that again. Hello. Do the big arm thing. Go on. Oh, really? <laughs> this hour in the morning. <laughs> Got to do it with purpose. More than that. With More purpose, on. Louise. <laughs> How are you doing? Because so we were just saying yes. this. I mean, it's great. You're yes. back out there. You're oh, singing. Yeah. You're dancing. It's brilliant. You're performing. But you're knackered. Yes, I chose a week. <laughs> so we have three matinees through the week. So it's full on. I mean, we've definitely hit the ground running. But I don't know, you, you, you guys must be the same after so long of not doing anything. You sort of have to pinch yourself a little bit and say, it's good to be back. Don't moan. No, no, I, I wouldn't have even implied that you were doing it. <laughs> it's just, it's physically so much hard work, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think people kind of underestimate the hours that do go into it. Eight shows in five days is... Um, it's pretty full on. Are you loving it? Do you know, I do love it. And, and it is hard work. I'm not going to lie. And I've got two kids at home, so I'm going back and forth all the time. But, um, yeah, it's so different from music and writing and records. But, yeah, there's something so rewarding about getting on the stage and every night. an audience, finally yes. just interacting with A you. real audience. And I, ha I was talking outside, and the first night we opened, it was we all felt quite nervous. And we've all done the show before. It's, it's been so long since we've actually seen a live audience, but to see people on their feet at the end of the show, just having the time of their lives, I think this is why we do the job we do. This is what makes our job so special. So, Dolly Parton is a living legend. Oh, and yes. I think, you know, people bandy those kind of titles around a bit, but she is. She uh, is. She absolutely 100%. is. So, I've got a quote here from uh, Dolly Parton about you. Oh. So, Dolly Parton, who, who says, I'm so proud that 9 to 5 will be coming back soon to theatres as it uh, across the UK. Louise has been wonderful since she led the show in the West End. We're so excited to give audiences the best night out after waiting so long. Yeah. She, she likes what you do. Do you know, I, I mean, for me, I'm a fan of Dolly for a number of reasons. I mean, first of all, 9 to 5 as a film was so iconic, still so relevant today. And she's managed to create this script for the musical with Pat where she's written new songs for it. It's got three new songs within the whole musical. It's funny, but at the same time, it kind of hits on really important points and that's still really relevant today. She's just a genius and also a great songwriter. I mean, one of the best in the world ever. Yeah, and we were just looking there, some of the still the, the uh, photographs we had of the original cast. Yes. And as you say, just on the themes that it was talking about, I mean, was a, there was a lot of humour in the film, obviously. Yes. yeah. But the, the broad principles of it, and I don't mean to bring the, the kind of subject yeah. matter too serious, but it, it's true, isn't it? I think it's really important. You can come to 9 to 5 and have the time of your life. You can sing all the songs, know most of the songs, and then you've got new ones thrown in. But you can also come away with a, a little bit of an undertone of that this has been an issue. She was well you know, beyond her time with writing this film and script and music that... I don't know, she's, she's very at the forefront, I think, of whatever she does. And I think this whole show is... Great fun, but you can take something a little bit more away with the with the storyline, definitely. She's so much sass, Dolly. She's Parton, so sassy. She? And there's a part in the show where she's on this big screen and she talks to the audience, and every night we're watching the audience watching her. Oh, and so she does something. She's and... kind of on the screen, okay. like in the where the clock is. And um she talks to the audience and just her whole persona and personality and Every night I listen to her and watch her and there's a bit where I have to go, hold it, Dolly. <laughs> and I think I've just said, hold it, Dolly. I mean, that's Dolly Parton. So, um, yeah, she's very, you know, part of this show and, and really involved. So if you go back a bit, Louise, and think about when you were starting your pop career... Yes. 
Was I mean, I don't know what that was like in terms of the things we're talking about, yeah. sexism, about how you were treated, what, what the industry was like, which, as you say, Dolly Parton's me in the forefront of going, you know, I'm just a performer, don't treat yeah. me differently or, or treat me with respect. Yeah. Do, what, what's, how do you reflect on that now? Do you know, I think I was at a, a, a lucky stage because I know it was, you know, there's been sexism in work for areas and placements for years and years but I think I was so young in Eternal and we were so kind of had this sort of wall around us I think I was almost too young to sort of be subjected to and pick up on anything I feel like I was very fortunate and went through the whole of my early pop career without really feeling any way about anything I don't know if I was just completely oblivious or just I think we signed that record contract at such a young age that parents and every and management was so heavily involved that we just we were just on a treadmill of work and working so I I was lucky to not be subjected to that but I know a lot of people have been very you know vocal about it in recent years so it's been an issue mm. how was lockdown for you what Honestly? was your thing <laughs> yeah what was your thing Oh, I, my thing. The first lockdown was scary and obviously I was, you know, just finished doing um, my first music tour in 9 to 5, but I really made the most of it with the kids. Yeah. It was quite it was nice. I and, felt like yeah. I needed to regroup with them. And as a mum, you just, I don't know, it was sort of I clung on to those moments. Second lockdown, really tough, really tough. I was really ready to get back to work. I really was missing just growing and expanding and, you know, just getting back to work. Have you ever had a nine-to-five job? Do you know what? No. You, never, you didn't work in a shop or anything? You never did that? You just... No, I was, I was in a turn at 16, 17. So and then that, that job was probably six till midnight. Yeah, that, was, that yeah. was much longer than nine to five. <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't, which is so ironic that I've been nine to five. But, um, yeah, no, I've never never had a nine to five job. But I'm, now you're kind of doing the equivalent because you're doing whatever it is, eight, eight shows or... Eight shows eight in, eight shows in shows five days um, all around the country. Yeah, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I love doing what I do. So how long's the tour? Um, so it goes right up until next March. Um, all across the country. I'm definitely there until December. Um, yeah, so it's, it's great fun. It really is. It's, it's such a pleasure to do every night. I feel sometimes I go out there and I just think, God, I'm really lucky to be part of something that puts smiles on so yeah. many people's yeah. faces. And I bet a lot of people we're speaking to now are saying audiences are particularly buzzing because, oh. you know, they're, they're, they're really good. Yeah. to see it again. Lovely to see you here this Yeah, morning. you Thank too. You. Thanks, Lovely guys. Thank you. Take care. And 9 to 5, the musical, as you heard, touring the UK right now. Headlines in a moment.